Hey guys, I just want to take this moment to show you a little something that I bought today. I was going to wait till Saturday's show, but I am so excited, as you can tell in the tone of my voice, that I couldn't wait to show you. So here it is. Last minute impulse type thing. Dun, dun, dun. What is it? Oh, it looks just like a dresser. Well, maybe it's an aquarium stand? I believe it is. And come over here with me. What is this? <clears throat> Looks like a JBJ 45. Yikes! Here's the guys waiting to eat. In the 125. They're hungry, you can tell. All right, so I called the one of the local reef stores where I first went when I was getting into the saltwater aquarium hobby, and it was kind of like a weird revisiting because when I first went in there, I knew nothing, and they were talking about nitrites and nitrates and all this stuff. Two really helpful guys, young guys. And um, I bought my JBJ28 from them, and I loved it. Now that's what my brother has. He's got my JBJ28. So I loaded the JBJ28 in my car, very excited, and I was uh, overwhelmed. I didn't know anything, and I thought it was a bad decision. Um, so tonight, I bought another JBJ from them. Now when I walked in, um, I didn't get to talk to the owner, Jeff, because I was going to, you know, shoot a video there, which I still will. And in fact, I did do some shooting. I'll post that maybe this weekend. But anyway, um, I got the 75 gallon downstairs, which is my quarantine tank. And I got the clowns down there, the Picasso clowns that I just got. I don't know. There's something about that 75 I just don't like. For one, it's just overkill large. For two, it's the basement out of sight. Um... <clears throat> So, I walked in, and I was going to get a JBJ 30-gallon, brand new, maybe not on a stand. Then, I turned around and I saw this tank used, JBJ 45, in great condition. I had to buy a light. I got an LED light. That's not it. That's the glass tops. LED light was really inexpensive. I'm not going to be growing coral in here, but um, it's got everything. It just doesn't have the ceramic rings, but I really don't care. Um, the pumps work. She tested them out. And uh, there you go. So then I had to make the phone call to tell my wife that I got another aquarium. It actually went over okay. She was not happy, but she did not yell. So... Where do you guys think I should put this? I'm thinking it's going to go right here in the living room next to the chair. Pardon the mess. Right there I think is good by the TV. Or what if as you enter it goes right here under the picture. Actually I have to remove the picture. That's a photograph I took by the way. How do you like that? It was in a Chicago Artists Coalition contest like three, four years ago. So <clears throat> do I put it, the tank there between the couches? I kind of dig it there, but I don't know if I should put it here. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Then there was in the corner. I uh, guess you're getting a tour of the house. The mess that it is. Then there's, of course, this corner in the kitchen, which I like, but it would be sticking out from the window by a couple inches. Anyway, I'm making water right now. It's unfortunate I can't set it up because I've got no water. Let me know what you guys think. And I wasn't going to go with the JBJ at all, but when I saw this deal, I just had to act on it. They included a stand. It's used, so I got a great deal on it. Um... I mean, 
the tank is less than a new one and they included the stand so I had to jump on it there's no way I was not gonna leave it in the store all right thanks I'll see you guys later